Hello, my friends. Let's practice when to use gerunds and when to use infinitives. In previous videos, we learned that gerunds are nouns that end with I-N-G. Infinitives are a form of a verb that starts with to. Before we learn the difference, we need to review. Let's review the basic sentence structure of English. In a typical basic sentence, we start with the subject or who or what is doing the action of the sentence. Usually, this is a noun or a pronoun. After the subject, we have the action of the sentence. What is the subject doing? This is always a verb, an action word. After the subject and the action, we have many options depending on the sentence. So, for example, I can say, I, the subject, I am doing the action, like is the action of the sentence, the verb. And now I will choose a noun. So I will say, I like pizza. Let's look a little bit more at the action of the sentence. The first verb in the sentence is also called the conjugated form of the verb. Conjugated means this verb is changed to match the subject and the time of the sentence. For example, with the subject I, we use like. Like is the conjugated form for I. But if my subject was she, the conjugated form would be likes. She likes. I conjugated like to fit the subject she. In a similar way, here, I like is in the present tense. I conjugated like to fit the present time. But if I say I liked, I am conjugating this verb to fit the past time. After a conjugated verb, you have options. Typically, we have a noun or a verb following a conjugated verb, but there are other options too. The noun is the name for a person, place, or thing. That includes activities. And if you want to use a verb after a conjugated verb, we need to use the infinitive form for the second verb. Let's look at an example. I like to sing. Here, like is my conjugated verb followed by the infinitive verb to sing. I need to as part of my infinitive in English. And this is correct. I like to sing. Like can also be followed by a gerund. So let's look at an example of that. I like singing. Here, I am using the gerund form of sing. Singing is the name of this activity. La, la, la. And so, I like singing is also a correct way to show that you like this activity. So, with the verb like, the conjugated verb like, I have options. Which one is correct, my friends? 
I like to cook or I like cooking. To cook is the infinitive verb after the conjugated verb like. Cooking is a gerund after the conjugated verb like. Both of these options are correct. So when do I use a gerund and when do I use an infinitive? Well, it depends on the conjugated verb, but not all conjugated verbs are similar to like. With like, you can choose. I like to read and I like reading are very similar in meaning. I can choose to read or reading. But with other conjugated verbs, you can't. Let's look at an example. I enjoy. The meanings of like and enjoy are similar. If I say I like singing, it's also correct to say I enjoy singing. But the grammar rules are different. With like, you have choices. With enjoy, you must use a noun. So if you are talking about la la la, you must say with this conjugated verb, enjoy, you must say, I enjoy singing. This is correct. For example, Enjoy always has a noun after it. We will always say, I enjoy drawing. We will never say, I enjoy to draw. I enjoy to draw is incorrect. Again, you can say, I like drawing or I like to draw, but if you choose to conjugate enjoy, you must use a noun, so you must use a gerund. So my friends, let's look at a few rules with using gerunds and infinitives. Some conjugated verbs can have either a gerund or a verb after them without changing the meaning. We talked about like, and like is a great example. I like traveling, I like to travel are both correct. However, some conjugated verbs can have either a gerund or a verb after them, but Depending if you use a gerund or a verb, the meaning changes. For example, the verb stop. If you say, I stopped to talk to her, the meaning is different than if you say, I stopped talking to her. To understand the difference, Let's look at two stories. First, it was a beautiful day. I was riding my bike through the park when I saw my neighbor. I stopped to talk to her. She told me about her daughter's upcoming wedding. It was great to see her. So here we have an example of I stopped to talk to her. Let's look at another example. My friend was very rude to me one day. I asked her to apologize, but she refused. I stopped talking to her. I miss her sometimes, but it is for the better. My friends, what do you think the difference is between 
I stopped to talk to her and I stopped talking to her. If you use stopped with an infinitive, this means that you stop a previous implied action in order to do another action. For example, in my story, I was riding my bike. I stopped riding my bike so I could talk to my friend. I stopped riding in order to talk. So I did not stop talking. I stopped my previous action, my previous activity of riding my bike so I could talk to my neighbor. On the other hand, if you say stop doing something, that means you stop the activity, the gerund that is directly after the conjugated verb stop. So in my example, I stopped talking to my friend. That means I do not talk to my friend anymore. So as you can see, stop to do something is very different than stop doing something. Finally, my friends, the last rule, some conjugated verbs can only have a verb or only have a gerund after them. For example, want. I want to leave the party. I want to leave the party. After the conjugated verb want, we will only have an infinitive verb. We will not use a gerund. You can use a noun, but not a gerund. A gerund does not occur. It does not follow want. I want to leave the party is correct. Another example is I finished eating. After a gerund or after the conjugated verb finished, we will only use a gerund or another noun. So I finished eating is correct. We would not say I finished to eat. It's I finished eating because we only have gerunds after finish. My friends, this is difficult grammar, but remember, practice, practice, and never give up.